right, we're checking out the only game where when my engine goes out, my will to live is shortly following thereafter, it's GTA. We wanted to find out which plane in GTA could fly the furthest after its engine goes out, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. He's given me all these different planes to use and an area to take off and fly in. Eventually, the planes will cross a red threshold, the engine will go out, and then I have to find out which plane can get the furthest on top of dealing with all new challenges that come with the engine out. Let's do this. This is one of those instances where someone made a suggestion and now I'm really concerned. So the way this works is, I pick the plane, I have to, oh, I have to make it through all of the different obstacles, and then if you see that red square in the distance, once I get through that, the engine will fail, and then I have to try and deal with the engine failure. Oh, there's a meteor shower now. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, what? So apparently, after a certain amount of time, the meteor shower will occur as well. And if it touches my plane, I will probably insta-die. Now, I have a mess of planes to choose from. There's big planes, small planes, gigantic planes. And the reason for this is because you would think to yourself, well, obviously, the big... Oh, wow, the poppers are really strong. Can I... Actually, yeah, can I? Out of bounds! <laughs> oh my god! I was just gonna say, can I go around all this problem? You know it's a really big board when Alex has given me a motorcycle to pick up a different plane. I have a lot of love for the Hydra. The thing I was trying to say before is I kind of wondered if I could just cheat the entire board by going under the issues. Ooh, wow. And, oh! What is that? It's not a popper at all! It's a brick wall hiding behind a popper! You lied to me, Alex! What I was trying to say, hold on, I have a gun, so I might as well use it. He, he didn't take it away from me. Oh, wow. What I was trying to say is part of me was like, why can't I just cheat this? But it looks like he put some sort of script in where if I go out of bounds, a black hole triggers. And I, oh, the popper murdered the Hydra. I love how it's not just how far can the plane go when its engine goes out. It's how much agony can Gray absorb? Let me just try and go this way. Did he? Whoa, whoa! Did he put the out of bounds on all sides of the map? Like, can I go over it? Nope. He put it on all sides of the map. Oh, I am not the only one going into the black hole. <laughs> it's not because I'm a masochist. I'm just like triple checking to see how far I can go out of bounds. Not very far. That's a really smart way of doing it because I don't think I would have been able to load the file if he made invisible walls the size that a board like this would need. All right. So now I got to. Oh God. I gotta really focus so I can get past these poppers because these things will just murder you. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, that was weird. I kind of had a little bit of fire going on on the tear the tail there, and one of my tail pieces is slightly derped, but that's all right. Okay, so a meteor shower starts about halfway through. You can see the meteors laying behind me. No! Oh, now I have to get through <laughs> the the. Uh, oh. oh. Okay, so the engine's off, and now I have to glide this thing. Okay, so. Maybe like a second or so after you get through the red, it looks like the engine off triggers and we made it 400 meters before I eventually just blew up. I decided to try the rage jet because the wingspan is really wide. So I thought maybe this thing would glide amazingly. It's also big, but it's kind of, oh God. <laughs> it's big, but it's also kind of short. Like it's not very tall is what I'm trying to say. The impotent rage portion of it is mostly wide. It's not that, whoa, oh my God. I was thinking to myself, maybe if I just do this sideways, I'll have a very small profile for injury. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, great, nice and smooth. I can take that damage, that's no big deal. This thing's massive, there we go. Now we're gonna have to deal with the meteor shower. There, it starts right as I go through the year. Oh wow, Bruce Willis was on my side for that one. That's right, no more Armageddon for you, Alex. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, this is some Maverick level stuff. Perfect. Okay, so through all the, ouch. I got double tapped by a plane and a meteor. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me doesn't know if I can get this thing to that red box so that the engine can even go out. Okay, this feels like a strong run so far. Oh, yes. Okay, so now the engine's gonna go out. There goes the engine. And now I have to deal with the fact that there's meteorites and I have no engine, but this thing, oh, the gliding. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. So we're already at 400 meters. Okay, nice and slow, nice and smooth, and 500, I'll call it like 550. That's not bad. So this is kind of cool. The, the props can go up and down, and this thing has guns. 
So anything with guns, I think, is going to have a big advantage because I'm going to be able to blow out a lot of these balloons before I even touch them. And I get to know... Whoa! <laughs> And I get to know if one of them has a little hidden present for me. And by hidden present, I mean something that will break my skull open. The meteor shower is doing pretty good. Luckily, this is a lot smaller than the other plane, too. So now that... Let's see if I can get through all this air traffic over here. It's like... It's like dealing with the New Jersey Turnpike, but in mid-air. There we go! First try! That's what I'm talking about! So engine goes off. Props have stopped spinning. We are dealing with the meteors. That's pretty bad. I'm on fire. I am now burning alive. I have also been trash compacted by a meteorite. This is a bad day. Okay, through the red. Good. Good. I think I had a good amount of forward. Oh! I could feel my eyebrows being forcefully ripped off of my body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to tap it. Tap it. Nice. Up, down, up, down, up. Oh, yeah. This is, you gotta work it. Okay. 500. I think we're definitely gonna get further than the rage and right at about 600. I got my headset on. Not really so I can communicate with anyone, just so that you guys can hear me scream. When I say mayday over the radio because I'm about to die, I decided to just go with the absolute most ridiculous biggest plane there is here. I don't even know if I can get it through this. I can't go out of bounds. One popper and this plane exploded. Are you kidding me? I can't fly out of bounds because I'll just trigger the black... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe I just got a really bad pop that one time. Okay, the tail took it well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. So now I need to get down a bit before the black hole starts ripping the pores out of my skin. Here comes the meteor shower. That's great. Miss all of the... Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. All right, engine off. Here we go. Engines are out. I took another hit on the tail, and that will probably completely destroy all of my forward motion. I can try and glide this thing, but wow, this glides all right. Look at how soft this thing landed. <laughs> 200 meters. Terrible. This looks amazing, so I'm going to use it. It's also, ow, it's also kind of big, but, uh, you know, armor's all right here. Taking a couple hits like it's no big deal. Bouncing off the poppers. Pretty sweet. Not really sure how it's going to do against, you know, meteorites. But it flies pretty good, too. The, uh, what do I want to call this? The, the yaw on this thing is very responsive. I'm going to try and squeak through all this flight problem. Oh, or the planes could just fly past me. I won't even have to worry about them. All right, engine is out. Missing all the meteors. I got good height on this one, too. I feel really good about this. I'm going for a 1,000. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Took a little bit of damage there from the meteorite. Oh, now we have air to air missiles. Okay, so once I get through those goal posts, it looks like the air to air missiles begin. And we're going to go to 800 meters and 900 meters. Can I get much past 900? I'm tanking shots too from the from the air to air missiles. Uh, yeah, right about 950 or so. And I took like two missile strikes and it did not kill me. And a meteorite, just because that's amazing. In case anyone was wondering, three missiles to kill me in this. Oh, we're going OG on this. This one I knew I would, ow. This one I knew I would do pretty well with because I've driven it so much. Like, I've, I've had to use this in other Alex challenges. Squeaking it through impossible holes very, very violently is part of this, yeah, is part of this plane's job description. Oh, yeah. All right, now if I start it kind of on an up <laughs> Oh, no. Right at the last second, I just got my face washed by a meteorite. This is a great run. Again, through all of the poppers, like it ain't nothing. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to the... I swear, this plane has... <laughs> wonder if I can jump out and pull my parachute in time. This plane has meteorite, like, cologne on. Throw the poppers. No big deal. Throw the meteorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Throw the plane traffic. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, and I got a little bit of an upswing, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted to come into the top level of that red box and just really give myself the best possible glide I could get. So here we go. Gonna have a nice smooth landing here too. I love how there's just little bits and pieces of the various planes still laying on the runway. And we are nowhere near the end of the runway. If you notice, the end of the board is like way, whoa, okay. The missiles are starting to hit and we get 600, probably like 650 I would say. This is kind of a plane. I mean, I'll call it a plane. Plainy enough, I guess. You know, we could also just say aircraft. Either way, it's kind of amazing because the props on this thing are so wide. Like, look at how tall these things are. They're, they're almost double the height of the, oh, wow. <laughs> My luck. They're almost double the height of the actual plane. Pink is the color of violence. Hey, <laughs> all right, that was, that was not bad. All right, so now we're gonna get the meteor shower. So far, so good. This run feels good. I'll do a little barrel roll for you guys. This thing is very wide and it, uh, it, oh! So after flying this thing, I will say, the gliding is terrible on it. This thing got 350 and that's it. I love that this thing has a peace symbol in the minigun. Oh, this gun is amazing. Oh yeah. I wish I could shoot down meteorites because I have a feeling this thing would do really well. So far, it feels pretty responsive in the glide. I mean, I'm not like gliding yet, but I'm not like really blasting the engines. We're gonna go sideways into this. The strat here is definitely fly sideways as much as possible. All right, sweet. So engines are out, meteor shower's going. We're look- Uh, officer, that meteorite came out of nowhere. All right, top of the red square. Get some good upward trajectory. Engine is off. The speed feels good, but it falls really fast. Ugh. Well, that's the, that's the kind of landing that will literally break your neck. And like 475. Oh my God. <laughs> Talk about timing. This thing looks more like an alien spaceship than anything else. I kind of like the look of it, but I'm going to tell you right now, in an all glass cockpit like that, even though it's awesome to look out of, down here in Florida, you feel like you're in a fishbowl baking alive. All it does, and this is tinted, is get, well, this thing's really fast. All it does is just get you a ton of sun through the cockpit. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting the feel of these meteorites. This is no problem. Okay, so we're at about 400 meters. Again, this thing drops out of the sky like a rock. 500, and that's as far as we can get. We just barely got to the air-to-air -air missiles, and we're on fire. Well, now we're now we're dead, right as we made it to 600. I've got good expectations for the Dodo. This has really, it's an amphibious, ooh, it's an amphibious craft, but these types of planes usually have fantastic glide slopes. There we go and through the meteorite, so far so good. Haven't taken a ton of damage, none of the plane is derping. Got my landing gear, not that I'll really need it because I'll probably come in hot. Throw everyone's spine out of their rectum. Pretty typical day with air gray. Kind of the same thing as uh, Southwest Airlines, there we are. Okay, this is perfect. So top of the red square, upward trajectory, lose the engine. Oh, well, never mind. I <laughs> went head to head with the meteorite and lost. Second times. Whoa, I almost got sucked into a jet engine. Second times the charm. The prop is still spinning. I think it's just from the air passing by the plane. So the glide feels good. It doesn't have a lot of speed on it. We're already coming up to 400. So we're going to have to do with the... We're gonna have to deal with the missiles in a moment. So we're gonna be at 500, and right after that, the missiles should turn on. Yeah, they turn on, and now we have to get through missiles and the meteorites, and we'll get right to about 650, call it 700 for the roll. I decided to try heavy jet propulsion again. Plus, this thing is really fast. Like, it's real fast. I can barely handle, ugh. I was gonna say, I can barely handle flying it through all of the obstacles at this speed. Run is feeling strong. Top of the red. Engine goes out. Okay, looking good. So, oh yeah, this thing glides really good. Oh, I can already feel it. I can already feel it. Wow, I am way over the goalposts. Does the, so, I'm not getting surface-to-air missiles. Did it buck out or am I just too high? <laughs> oh! 
almost lost my whole run. I have no idea, but we do not have any surface to air missiles and that is awesome. We are coming up at a thousand meters. This is the new leader. Look at this thing just glide in. Wow. That was incredible. That's probably like 1,050 or 1,040. So this is a weird one. Okay, this has an innate boost and Alex did not disable it. So I have guns on this and a boost ability. I don't know if it goes out when the entire engine goes out, but I think I can use it just before it does and probably get really good distance on this thing. So again, through all of the balloons, Ow, there's the boost working. Oh, yes. Ah, all right. Well, there's one thing I can't get out of, and that's meteorites. All right, I'm currently barrel rolling through all the meteorites, and it's working out really good. I really need to time this, though, so that I can use my boost right at the end. So wait for it. Ooh, wait for it. Like, now. Okay, now the engine. Okay. Okay. So I can't use the boost again, but the boost did work for that moment. So that's really good. That, oh no, ah, I'm still, I'm okay, I'm okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm okay. Well, the air, okay, so the air to air missiles are activating now. So at the very least I was low enough for them to work. And we're gonna get right to about 1400. Wow, this is easily the best I've gotten, 1600. 1600 oh and now there's people on the ground shooting missiles at me oh i got a really lucky bounce how far are we how far are we two two thousand oh my god <laughs> 2100 keep rolling keep rolling come on oh there's a checkpoint <laughs> right there 2150 2160 ah 2160 and this thing could take some damage too. A lot of people have wanted to see an air light at some point. If I had to guess, the air light is probably going to be able to be the one. I think that this would be the one to beat the last plane. Oh, if I can survive all these. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to bang that. Never mind, I can totally bank that. Took a lot of damage. How is it still alive? <laughs> I am smoking, but the fact that it could take that many hits and still be in one piece is kind of amazing. All right, now I'm just, oh, well now I went out of bounds. Your meteor shower. Can't, okay, your meteor shower almost stopped me. All right, top of the red, looking good. Engine is off. We are, okay, we're low enough to gen to get the air to air missiles to clock in. So they're gonna start happening now. But again, we're a small target and we are really gliding. Like obviously this is a glider attached to like a weed whacker engine. So it makes perfect sense. But, okay. What are we, what are we at about now? Almost at 1400 already. 1500 is gonna happen here in a second. I've got, at this point I've got, I don't know, like guys trying to shoot at me from, whoa. Guys try to shoot at me from the ground with their surface to air missiles. I've got the air to air missiles going. The engine is blasted. There is explosions and death everywhere, but somehow we are just gliding through everything. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, 2000. I don't know what kind of Rambo level flying is going on here. This is some stormtrooper style aiming. Okay. Oh, I have to miss this. I need to miss this meteor, right? Oh my God, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it a checkpoint. Hold on, I gotta try and get this. I could see in the distance. Look, right there. I can't, there, okay, so, so here's my question. If I restart back at the, oh God, no. If I restart back at the checkpoint, do I get my engine back on? Because if I do, we can get the final thing here and get out. If you start back at the checkpoint, you 100% get your engine back. And so that means, hold on, I just need a nice and square. Oh my God, bring this in while the entirety of GTA is trying valiantly to shoot me down. And we have a winner. Well, I found the right plane, but I lost part of my sanity. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.